Hello, you beautiful people. So today, I thought I'd do a bit of an interesting topic. Um, yeah, this is quite a weird one. Five habits that will get you killed if you're not careful. So, now this is an interesting topic. Five things that are going to get you killed if you're not careful. And the first one I'm going to say is just not anticipating what other road users are doing. So, it's about, you know, taking your time, coming at things at the right amount of speed so that if someone is a bit of a twat, they're not going to affect you. So like that, I'm able to stop because I don't know what that car is going to do. And things like that are important. It's like, yes, I might have the right of way, but that doesn't really much matter if someone pulls out on me. I'd much rather be annoyed at them slightly, but, you know, completely safe than be right and be injured. So the biggest one is not anticipating what other people are doing. And even if you do anticipate what they're doing, not putting yourself in dangerous way. So you can see I'm trying to make a little bit of space so that I can I can see what he's doing. Now what I'm going to do here is some might tell you not to, but here's where I can see that that van behind me perfectly fine. No one's coming up at me at speed, and I'm able to move away in plenty of time. So doesn't really, I don't have to go 2,000 miles an hour. So that kind of brings me on to the other one, the next one, which is speed. Now, speed, I'm going to admit, is something that can be fun. And yes, in my younger days, I was a little bit reckless. And yeah, I kind of see my, the problem in that now. I'll just shut this so we get a little bit, oh, that's actually a bit shitter. Um, yeah, so speed. Now, here's where speed comes into it. Again, we're going to sort of say these are five habits that get you killed. So you might have perfect right of way, but if you're coming down a 30 miles an hour road at 70, which I have known some people try and do, that car pulling out is going to see you miles down the road. And for that split second, they cannot tell the difference between 70 and 30. So at that point, they're not able to tell the difference. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to think they have plenty of space and they're going to pull out. And that's the problem. If they pull out, it doesn't matter that you had right of way, you're laying in hospital, which is not ideal. So let's go with number three. And number three is having, having your arms in the wrong place or having... Having the, so having a loose grip is what you want to do. You want to be able to, you know, have plenty of looseness there. So it means I can control my throttle. If something happens, I've got a little bit of give. That means I'm not going to jerk my throttle. If you grip the uh, the bars in a in a sort of almost a death grip, uh, I've seen some riders do. If you have a completely straight arm like that, what's going to happen? when a little bit of force is going uh, to be applied. So what's going to happen is that your arm's going to want to go back like that. Now, when that happens, obviously, there's a reason that I took my hand off the throttle when I did that. Because what you're going to find, if your hand goes back, you're going to apply throttle. Now, that would be fine, except well, that would be fine if you could easily take it off, but it's not like a car where if you've got your foot on the gas and you're going a little bit too quickly, your foot's going to come off like that. No, it's, it is twist towards you to get more speed. So what's going to happen is that you're going to twist the throttle towards you and then it's going to... Uh, well, you're going to go faster, twisting it more, twisting it more, twisting it more, until you go into an obstacle or something. Now, here's a little bit of advice. Obviously, try and have the loose hand position, but if you ever find yourself in that situation, you either flick the kill switch there, or you're going to pull in your clutch. 
Now when you pull in your clutch, you're going to get a huge rev, but otherwise be fine. I've got clear, so I'm going to go to this lane. So you're going to get a huge rev out your engine, but you're going to just be able to come off the throttle and it'll be gone. So that's why we would do something like that. We would, that's what we would do in a situation like that. Is um, is that? So I said five, didn't I? So we've done speed, we've done um, anticipation, and we've done arm position. And now the next one is going to be road position. Now you might think that road position doesn't matter, you know, but it absolutely does. And. It's what I don't get, people that will be, you know, all the way over to this side of the road or all the way over to this side of the road. You know, it's it's kind of one of them that if you're in the wrong place, um, people just won't notice you. And that can be, that can be deadly if people don't notice you. And for my last one, I'm going to say the classic, leaving your signal on. Now that can be dangerous. So if you don't know, if you may be a car driver, uh, bikes have, don't have an also cancel, or don't usually have an also cancelling signal. So what usually happens is you'll turn left or turn right, you put your signal on, and then once you've committed your turn, you turn it off. Now what happens a lot of the time is, for whatever reason, you're distracted or, you know, you just, your mind goes off it, you just find yourself not cancelling that signal. So, you're coming down a road like this, I'm signalling left, because I've forgotten to cancel my signal. A car is wanting to come out from the left, so he's going to think I'm going to pull into, you know, this road here, I'm going to pull into this road here. And he's going to pull out and it'll be absolutely fine. What he doesn't know is that I've forgotten to cancel my signal and I'm now travelling straight on. So, he's going to see me plenty of time ahead, he's going to think I'm going to be slowing down, so he's got enough time, well, there's no one behind me, he's just going to pull out. At that moment, that is kind of my fault, because I was signalling the wrong way. And, you know, he's going to quite rightfully, or she's going to quite rightfully say, well, you were signalling left. I thought you were going to be going left into that street. So here's a tip I've heard that I'm going to just repeat to you. If you're a car driver or you look at a bike, a signal is only showing you that the bulb's working. That's all it's showing you. If you see them slow down, then yeah, it's probably, or you see that signal go on at that point, then yeah, that's probably where they're going. But always anticipate someone making a mistake, because people quite often do. Anyway, I hope that has helped somebody. And, ooh, a nice Porsche. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> See you next time, people.